In this video I decide to buy 5 random steam keys and play the games that I get, but I have to write a review for each of them, so let's start the video. Ok, so here are all the codes, let's just copy the first one and activate it. So I got the game called Upside Down. The reviews aren't that bad, so I'll download it. Caesar, here we are, let's launch it. It's launching and we get a configuration window. Let's start the game. Here it is, it's suspiciously quiet. Maybe I should check the options? Everything seems alright. Whatever, let's just start playing. Oh, finally any sound. Ouch, that's too loud. I have to make the volume lower, like that. So that's me and this is a tutorial. Seems pretty straightforward. Death mechanic is present. That's already one good thing about this game. And I already got two achievements. So I completed the first level. On the second one I had to touch those things to remove the barriers. Then I decided to go back, but that didn't work. So I decided to farm jump achievements, and after receiving all of them, I decided to pass this level. The next stage had some enemies that made weird sounds. I died to one of them, because I was trying to check if they were friendly. There was nothing hard. Fourth level had leaves that disappeared after contact with them, but in the end they reappeared. In the next one I had to go down and then go another one, to touch this thing which opened another lever that removed the barrier. On the next level there was nothing special except those new dogs and those exit things. All the next level hadn't anything special except a few minor changes. After finishing 10 levels I decided to stop playing and check how many levels there was. There was 40 levels in total, so it's time to write a review. So what could I write? Surely it's the best game ever, a masterpiece. For sure I recommend it. So that was the first game. Let's check another one. Here's the second code, we will activate it and we get a game called Curse of Raven's Cry. Now I am in the game store page and we can see that reviews are mixed. Also the screenshots looks pretty good. I read through some of the reviews and decided it's time to launch the game. Play now. Cinematic. Skip it. So I got this forever waiting game to receive the serial key. After waiting for a bit, nothing happened and I decided to relaunch the game. But it was the same. Nothing left but to write a review. It's obvious that I'll write about that game isn't even launching. I don't recommend it and post it. I feel a bit scammed, but I hope the next games will be better. Choose the next one. So here it is, the next game. It's called Battle with Chess. Let's just launch it. Epic sound. More epic sounds. We are in. There are some different game modes and boards. Let's start the game. It doesn't look that bad. After a few moves, the AI just froze. I had to relaunch the game. Oh, we got another board. A few moves and I thought the AI was dead one more time. No, it is. Maybe it's because I took the highest rated one. I decided to look at the pieces. I looked at the queen, king and other pieces. I even looked at my enemy ones. They're okay. Another launch. I hope I won't have to do it one more time. It was a simple game of chess. But it was a bit hard to understand what was happening. I managed to lose. There is a defeat animation. The horse flexing me. I played another one and lost one more time. I decided to play the duel mode. So it just chess with some RPG elements. I didn't understand how it works. Yeah. I tried to play it, but I couldn't. Skill issues. Then I decided to play the campaign mode. Played one game and won. I think it's time to write a review. Overall, a good game, except a few bucks. It's a positive one. Choose an X. This one is called Slash It Ultimate. I'll just launch it. So here we are. It's a top in bit game. What to guess? Just start it. I have to play with the arrows. Look at that! I was right. So I sped it up and removed the music cause I think the music might have copyright claims. I finished it and got a C grade. I turned off the music and decided to play it one more time. Just a regular tap game. Another C. When can I open another mode? I think I have to play a few more games. This time I got a B. And more. Finally, I have enough. I unlocked the words one. I have only two questions. How fast it will be and will those words be related to songs? It isn't fast, but how related they are, I don't know. So for the next round I turn on the music and no, they aren't related. At least B. There was the ability to change the language. 
I chose Ukrainian and started the game. Yes, yeah, those are random words. That's enough. Time to leave. Reviews of the game are mostly positive. Time for my review. I had nothing to say about it, so I wrote that I had nothing to say. This will be a positive. Next, paste the code, confirm, and we got the world's collection. Here they are. It's three games, but I'll play only one of them. I downloaded them all for no reason, but I'll play only this one. Launching, a office logo and epic intro. Skip. We are in the menu, let's just start the game. Is there a meaning character customization? Start, intro, skip, another one? So I appeared somewhere in Severage, or whatever it is. There were two bodies. I successfully looted the first one and the second one. I tried to go in there, but I couldn't. So the only thing left was to follow that woman. Right at the turn I found some barrels. I took one of those, but when I was trying to put it down, I died. What the hell is that? Load then. Ah, how cool. No saves. So I had to go through the process of starting the game one more time. This time I won't take those. We were going somewhere until we came across the room with ogres. He seems like a good guy. Epic fight scene. He started talking to me. Who cares? I skipped all of the dialogue. I looted those guys and we went further. Another dialogue? I hate dialogues, man. We went somewhere. Then I tried to go somewhere else, but didn't succeed. So I had to come back to her. We went into the library, where I found some books, manuscripts and a lever. After activating which, a hole opened. Another dialogue. We had to go to the other side. A cutscene, we came there, I took manuscripts and decided to check if there was fall damage, which seemed like no. We came somewhere, I looted one guy, but then that guardian came to me. I tried to punch him, but he took almost half of my HP in one hit. I tried to fight him, but then decided to run away. Am I really that scared? Then I should just fight him, that was a bad idea. At least the game had been saved. It's all, I have to write a review. The game felt junky and there were no guns. All the swords. 0 out of 10. And lastly, I have to uninstall it. So that's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like and subscribe, it will motivate me to make more amazing content for you guys. Thanks. See you in the next video.